Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're looking at AI and ML services, and the most important one here is Vertex AI. So this is Google Cloud's unified ML platform for building ML solutions end-to-end, -end. and so a lot of the stuff you're gonna be doing uh, uh, when it's ML or deep learning is gonna be with Vertex, okay? So let's just kind of define what a, a ML pipeline looks like. So we have data readiness, feature engineering, training, hyperparameter tuning, model serving, uh, understanding, uh, edge, so that would be like deploying to the edge, like on uh, mobile devices, model monitoring, and model management. Uh, and so we're just gonna break it down here uh, into three sections. And so before we get into the actual functionality of uh, machine learning services, we need some way to actually uh, run these models. So there's specialized or train or run or infer, but they have specialized um, uh, virtual machines and containers. So that's part of the deep learning environment. These will be uh, compute that already has pre-installed on them uh, the like Python and TensorFlow, uh, and they might be optimized for GPUs, things like that. Uh, now that we have our compute, we need a, an actual environment to build these in. And the golden standard across the board for no matter what platform you're on is Jupyter Notebooks. And every single platform, just like GCP, they'll just call them like Vertex Notebooks, but really they're Jupyter Notebooks, okay? Um, so now that we have an environment or a developer environment we can work on and we have our compute, let's talk about the services throughout this pipeline. So starting on the left-hand side, we have data labeling. This is a service that um, the idea is that if you want to train a supervised machine learning model, it needs to have labeled data because it's going to use that to learn. So the idea is that you can uh, input uh, uh, data and then get people to help you label it, okay? You have data sets. That is just a curation of your data that's going to be ingested into the, um, uh, the pipeline or into the ML model or prepared for feature engineering. Uh, feature store is you extracting out key uh, data uh, and making it uh, 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 machine readable for the ML model. You have experiments. This is when you are trying uh, different iterations of the ML model. So you need to uh, remember um, like parameters and configurations uh, and the history about them. You have uh, AI accelerators. This is just, um, I think this is fractional. This is fractional GPU. So the idea is that if you have a, uh, a virtual machine and the GPUs are too expensive, you can just have fractional uh, GPUs. Uh, visor optimization. This is a um, a closed closed uh, uh, source um, service that does optimizations on your um, models. I imagine it's for hyper tuning. Uh, so we have training. So that's where you are just training your model. So you do uh, like a a container or a virtual machine to do that. Then there's actually the prediction. So that's you um, uh, doing inference. Uh, explainable AI. So the idea is there's this big there's this big concern about the ethics or responsibility of AI. And so if you can see how it works, then you can uh, detect for bias or other unfair unfair things. Uh, we have hybrid AI. So um, I imagine that is just being able to take a model and deploy it on a phone or low end devices, like on the edge, closer to the the people. Uh, for model monitoring, we have continuous monitoring. You want to watch for things like um, uh, drift or drag degradation because if you have a, a machine learning model, uh, it can like it can get worse at predictions over time. I know that sounds very unusual, but it's something that can happen. So you want to watch out for that kind of stuff. And for model management, we can collect a bunch of metadata, uh, and I imagine that would be just for like we'd have. Um, a model catalog, like a place to store our models for easier deployment. Uh, and then we want to automate this entire thing. So we have pipelines. This is called ML Ops. It's the uh, automation of the end-to-end -end pipeline for building, training, inferring, uh, you know, deploying a model. Uh, then we have Auto ML, and so this is um, basically automates a bunch of this away. It's kind of like your platform as a service for machine learning. So this can do it for vision, for video, for language, for translation, for, for tables. The idea is you just upload uh, your data and then uh, it pretty much does the rest for you. Uh, it will actually run a bunch of experiments and you'll just choose which is the best one. Uh, so it really makes it easy if you don't know what you're doing, okay?